Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2006 Mercedes-Benz SL500 Desenio car. This is a special order car. It's got all kinds of custom um, stuff on it from Mercedes-Benz when it was ordered originally. It had a sticker of over $118,000. It's a clean title, clean Carfax. It's got great service history on it. We can finance it through Alaska Federal Credit Union. We can put a warranty on it. We welcome trades. It's also only got 38,000 miles on it. So uh, I've never seen this color before, ever, um, in an SL. It's the Graphite Desenio Edition. Um, and then they put a bunch of extra gear on it. So we really like it. The mileage is good. The condition is good. So those are Desenio wheels. Um, all the wheels are in good shape. I don't think there's any curb rash on those. I'll confirm that as I walk around. Um, it's got Pirellis on it right now, which are in good shape. They don't need anything. So this Comfort, this button here means you've got keyless go or comfort access. Uh, so that means you can lock and unlock your car and start it without actually using your key. So this is graphite paint. The spoiler here is factory. That's also graphite paint. So you'll see these buttons in the back. That's indicative of a rear parking sensor. Excuse me. So you can see the deck lid, very, very clean. The paint, the interior are all in really, really good shape. Uh, so, and the, the trunk struts even work. That is not common on this car. 80% of the ones we see, those will collapse. Um, we need a, t a truck a trunk liner for it, so we're going to get that. The compressor and the spare are in there though, so that's nice. <clears throat> so, and you can see all of these components in excellent condition. So, let's see, no curb rash on that wheel either. So, no dents, stings, or scratches. So they made these, uh, they completely redesigned this car in 03. If you're looking at this car, you're probably already aware of that. So there's a little damage on this wheel here and here. Um, and this was the last year of this design. So you've got adaptive xenon headlights, as you can see those bubbles there. You also have headlight washers. Um, they, and then in 07, they went to the 550 and changed the body style and did some things. We like these. So anyways, on this particular car, um, this is, I've never seen this either. So this is a textured trim piece. Um, it's on all the trim pieces. So you have uh, heated and cooled seats. But you've also got a lot of extra leather and extra stitching. So on the dash, stitch dash, stitch components here. Uh, and then you can see in the back here, also that's all textured. Um, so that's all special order from the factory. That's different, I have not seen that anywhere else. So you've got storage compartments uh, here and the 60, 60 CD changer, the other one's just empty. You've got, again, you have the texture on the trim pieces here and the stitched leather in the center console. Um, I mean, this is as nice a, a car as we have seen. Um, also, and I haven't seen this before uh, on other ones, but it's got your Desenio embossed headrests. You also have active seats, so pulsating massaging seats and uh, You've got bladders in there to change your seating position. So, uh, keyless go, if you have a button here, you can start your car without actually using your key. Uh, you've got an adaptive suspension, so you've got uh, two different ride heights, and then an ABC, which is a sport mode. Power mirrors, this is your top operation and your roll bar. You've got uh, dual climate control. You've got, so, Navigation on this, so there's a little, not sure what this is. We thought about replacing this, but we're not going to. This console is new, um, and it looks worse on the, can well, I don't know, I'm not gonna say that. It, it is what it is. Um, so that's the map, so you've got navigation. You've got, um, you have an upgraded sound system. You have satellite radio, although it's not active because of the year of the car. Uh, and then you have, so here and here, those are backup sensors, or well, they're parking sensors, not a backup. So that's, when you get close to stuff, it starts here and it works its way across and goes red when you're close. And then when you put this car in reverse, you've got a backup sensor back there and they all work. Um, so again, the condition of this car is really, really clean. It's got the original first aid kit in it. Um, so, Multi-function steering wheel, volume control, and Bluetooth operation if you were to integrate a phone. 
your onboard computer system. You can see 38,118 miles. There's no service lights or uh, indicator codes. There's a ton of service history on this. They've done the front and rear struts. They did the motor mounts. They did the AC compressor on AC lines recently. They did uh, valve cover gaskets. I mean, everything's been done. So there's your ventilated seat. So three-stage ventilated seat, and you've got a two-stage heated seat. You have Al Alcantara uh, headliner here. I'll put the top up in a minute. Um, cup holders work and are clean. I mean, that's that in and of itself is uncommon. Uh, anyways, we really like the car. So you can see the stitching here all across the dash. This is leather. Most of the ones we have, this is a plastic. Um, it's just, a, I mean, it's, it is, I've never seen an SL like this before. So we thought about keeping it just because of the mileage and all the equipment on it. So you just hold this down, that activates your top, goes up in about 12 to 13 seconds, everything collapses, put your windows up. You're probably not going to be able to see it, but the headliner is all Alcantara. And then that will, so you're, it shows top in operation until it's done, and then once it's done, uh, you're done. So this will turn your car on and off just by hitting that button, and then when you get out, it will... Um, Turn off your electronics for you. So you can see the top is in excellent condition. And then you can lock that just by hitting this button. Uh, that's not programmed. Uh, we do, so we do, I just have one master key and this is the one of the originals. Uh, if you're familiar with these cars, the new ones are a silver and um, quite a bit different, a little more modern looking. Anyways, the back panel's in good shape. So, that's what a $118,000 SL500 looked like in 2006 and still looks like today. If you've got questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us and we can be reached at 503-227-2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.